What is good, everybody? Welcome to a My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new AEW Unmatched Collection review on the brand new AEW Unmatched Collection Series 4 CM Punk figure. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is our first official CM Punk mass-produced action figure of this style and articulation-wise. In this scale, mass-produced for retail, major company in the U.S. producing action figures, first CM Punk figure since 2014 with the Elite 29 CM Punk. I could be wrong about that. There may have been one more after that or somewhere in between there, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Our first AEW iteration, our first Jazzwares AEW unrivaled iteration of CM Punk. Here it is, man. I'm super excited to get into it with you. I felt like CM Punk probably deserved his own review, so we're going to cover only CM Punk here today, and of course, the rest of Unmatched Series 4 will follow. If you guys would like to pre-order this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Here's the front viewing window of CM Punk as you guys guys can see. Silver foil because it is an unmatched figure. You have CM Punk down the side here. He is number 25. Got a really cool image of Punk here with the X across the chest. Here's a shot of the figure in box. You got AEW across the top. AEW on the side. AEW on the side again. On the back, something that's very interesting. Of course, you do have your image of Punk here. It says CM Punk. You got the rest of the figures in the wave, which is a really good wave, I think. But right here on the signature, it looks like it almost like ran out of ink or that it was like done at the DMV. You know, when you sign your autograph for the for the, you know, for your license or for your permit. That's what that looks like to me. I don't know. It looks like it got a little bit light. I'm not sure what's going on there, but we are going to crack CM Punk out of his packaging, find out what he's all about, see the quality of the hoodie. Is this figure going to be as hated as a lot of people online? You guys know that the Chase variant version is the one in the trunks. This one is in the long tights, and a lot of people were hating on the legs, saying they were too skinny. We're going to find out here today if that is the case, man. But with all that being said, let's crack CM Punk out of his packaging and find out what he's all about. So here's the straight edge superstar out of his packaging, and I post him around quite a bit. First impressions. Let's just get the first impressions out of the way, man. I'm actually enjoying this figure a lot so far. I do have my gripes and critiques that we're going to, of course, get into. You guys know how the reviews go. We're going to break it all down for you guys, let you guys know what I like, what I don't like, the cons and the pros of this AEW and match series for CM Punk. But before we get into the figure itself, let's dive into his accessories, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at CM Punk himself. So getting into CM Punk's accessories, starting out first, you got to start off with the cloth hoodie, man. This is actually really impressive by Jazzwares. Now, I was worried about it because when you first take it out of the packaging, it does not have the plastic, you know, protection over the figure like we saw with Jake Hager and we've seen with other figures. Now, this is a really nice hoodie. You do have, who I'm guessing is Larry on the back. This is CM Punk's dog, I do believe, which is really cool. Makes me want to get a hoodie made with Charlie on, on a hoodie and then put Charlie across the thing. Maybe I should do that. Let me know down in the comment section below if I should do that. But this right here, this little mini jersey right here is actually, that's actually a pin. It's a pin that he was wearing, I think, the night that they did the render images for this. And they just included it with the figure for whatever reason. So I don't know exactly the whole story behind that, but he was wearing a pin and they included it on the figure as like a decal or, you know, little little symbol on there. But it does have mock pockets on there. These are not operational pockets, which is kind of bummerific. If those were operational, that'd be insane. But you do have Velcro here. It's a nice hood. You guys saw how well it fit the CM Punk figure in the opening. It fits really well. It really, really does. I was impressed with it. Tight cuffs and stuff. You do want to remove the hands before you put it on the figure, but this is a great piece. I love this, and you guys do know we are getting the AEW hoodie with the upcoming Walmart exclusive CM Punk. Now, outside of that, you also get an AEW microphone that we have seen multiple times here. AEW logos all the way around, and it is a little bit warped there, so if you guys wanted to heat this up and then run it under cold water, you could get it straight in position, but uh, we've seen this so many times, you know, I'm not I'm not going to, you know, be holding it hostage or anything, but it is cool to have another accessory. Outside Outside of that, you do have interchangeable hands. You got the drug-free hands here, which is like grappling hands. They got the hand tape sculpted on there. They did have the, the pegs in white, which is really nice. And then you got the black X's on there. And for his other hands, they're actually mic holding hands specifically with the white peg, the black X's, the drug-free and stuff. And the only thing I hate is, where's the damn fists, man? How are you gonna not have fists? You gotta have fists so you can do the cross across the front. You know, you wanna have your, your X right here. You're supposed to be able to cross them and have the fists like this. What's up with that? I'm sure we're gonna get a surprise. Supreme CM Punk soon, probably Series 4, and with butterfly joints, you'll be able to do that. And we're also going to show off articulation in this video. Alright guys, so getting into the Nico Bellich head sculpt. No, it's just a GTA joke, but seriously though, he does kind of resemble him a little bit, right? Just a, just, a, just a hair, but getting into the CM Punk head sculpt, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's a terrible one. I was looking at it and I was like, is it not missing something? I think I'm just thinking of the lip ring era or something like that, but I feel like the texture and the hair is a bit flat. I think I'd like to see it maybe have a little bit more depth to it or a little 
bit more height, but it's not terrible. I think that it favors CM Punk. I think we're going to get better head sculpts along the line, but for a first head sculpt, I don't think it's horrible. I just would like to see some more black, I think, you know, add some like salt and pepper look to it. Similar to like Tommaso Ciampa from Mattel, you know, have like some dark color with some light and, you know, salt and pepper look there, but I think it looks okay. You know, it's not a terrible first head sculpt. Got the little bags under the eyes a little bit there. I like it. I, I, I don't despise it. I think it could be better, but I don't hate it. Now going down into the chest, this looks really clean. I like all the tattoos. I think, uh, I think it captures it quite well. I like the torso that they used. You know, he's not completely shredded, but it's not too, too skinny either. You know, I think Mattel did a good job as well. You got straight edge right here. I love all the tattoo deco on his arms. I think they look really, really good and it's very clean and look, it comes across really nice. No, not pinless yet. We will get there. Probably a Supreme figure one time, but there's the Pepsi logo. Way better than Mattel. Mattel didn't even attempt it, man. They were like, nah, bro, we're not even going to mess with that, but there that is. I may fill that in or I don't, I don't know. I'm going to make it more accurate, I guess. Same thing goes for the Co Cobra Commander tattoo. Looks very, very similar to how it looks in real life, man. It's very similar. If you went in there with like a black pin or something and filled it in, I think you could easily get away with it. You also have the tattoo on the back of the ear. I mean, you got the shoulder tats. I mean, dude, they did a really good job on these tattoos. They also sculpted the wrist tape on there, which I really like. You know, we've seen this from Jazzwares before and it, it stands true right now. We also do get a little bit of bleeding of the deco onto the wrist tape, which nothing a little white paint can't take care of. But I do call Mattel out for it, so I'm going to call it Jazzwares for it. We do need to get that fixed as much as we can. You have the crotch piece right here. It does have, you know, the Chicago flag stars, you know, synonymous with CM Punk going down. Legs are a bit skinny, I'll be honest with you. But the more you're around the figure and posing him around, it doesn't come across as bad. I think they could be thicker. I think if they would have used Kenny Omega legs, it would have been perfect, to be honest with you, because the kick pad mold would have been perfect. Leg thickness, I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think down below. Maybe they wanted that slimmer look to him. You got the light blue stripes going down. You got the stars. It looks really good. I could have swore this attire was navy, but it looks more black. This is definitely black. Like They, they definitely made it black here, but I could have swore the attire was navy. No knee pads on it, which I think contribute to the skinniness. I think if you threw some knee pads on him, it would look a lot better. And this is probably my biggest gripe with the figure, is I hate this, man. The Sammy Guevara, you know, Montez Ford, kind of like all one mold with a regular cut in there, just creates no dimension or depth, and it makes it look like he's just wearing straight, you know, nothingness, kind of. And it looks very odd. This should be a molded separate piece. The foot is fine. I think the feet are fine with the kick pad pad, but right here, there's nothing creating a kick pad, man. It's just flatness. It's just flatness, and it's painting on the kick pad. That's unexcusable, to be honest with you. I think that that needs some definition. It needs to have a kick pad mold sculpted in there somewhere, so that kind of bothers me. But at the end of the day, the figure does pose around really nicely. And before we get into comparisons, I do want to pose him around a little bit. So with the head, you can look all the way down, and you can look up pretty damn good. That's pretty good right there. That ball hinge is very nice. This is one thing I don't like either. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but with some AEW Jazzwares figures, the articulation is very tight and like subtle. It's not loud like that, and I feel like when it's loud like that, it gets loose over time. But then you have like the Unrivaled 9, I felt like, was very smooth. It wasn't very loud like this. The bicep swivel was pretty good. Like, this isn't terrible, but I'm afraid that these arms are going to get loose on me eventually, and that scares me because my Sue Grayson, as you guys know, was, was terrible. And this, this arm's doing it a little bit, but it's not as bad as that. It's just something to mention. You guys can let me know, but Ab Crunch is fantastic because it's an AEW figure. You will notice right there, there's a little bit of blackness from the hoodie, I think. It's not coming across on camera, but it's definitely there. There's like a smudge down the side right here. God, how, that's crazy that it's not, you can see it maybe a little bit better right there. There you go, in the darkness, you can see it a little bit better. But as you guys know, huge split seat because he's on ball joints, which is cool. He does have upper thigh cut. He has double jointed knees. He has kick pad lower rotation. He has an ankle pivot. His feet can go up and down. And I, I had no trouble getting in any poses. You guys saw the clobber in time pose. I think that he will pose around with the best of them. I just think that he needs a few things. And I think the trunks version is going to be superior to this. But I still like this figure a whole lot. But before we move on, guys, let's get into some AEW CM Punk figure comparisons. So first, we do have Kenny Omega kind of standing him apart there. And you guys can see Kenny Omega is more, more muscular. He's got a little bit more stout going on. But I think giving him some different legs and then giving him this style kick pad mold would have done wonders for this figure. But I think CM Punk 6'1", 6'2", and Kenny Omega is like 5'11", 6 foot. So I think these scale pretty daggum well together. I like the way these look, you know, up next to each other. I don't have any issues with that. Here's CM Punk up next to a couple other AEW and Rival figures. We have the ringside exclusive TNT champion Cody, and then we have the Unrivaled Series 2 MJF. I think all these 
scale really well and they look really good up next to each other. I don't really have any, you know, quarrels or any, you know, pissed offness about any of these. But even the, like, why not use these kid, these Cody legs right here that have kind of a thicker build to them? A little bit longer than the Kenny Omega ones, I do believe. You could have used those legs and then you could have shoved some Kenny Omega kick pads up in there and had had that look to them. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking there. But maybe it's because he needed to be a tad bit taller. Again, I don't know. I, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall. And then for a figure that's smaller than CM Punk and a figure that is bigger than CM Punk, little comparison, we do have Darby Allen up next to Punk, who I do believe is where this match is from. Correct, he was fighting Darby Allen, I think, during this matchup. And then you have Wardlow, of course, which is a beautiful specimen of a man up next to him right there. So he can, you know, he can crush him into a million pieces because you don't mess with Wardlow. And then for the Epitoma of Epitoma comparisons, we have the Mattel Elite 16 CM Punk with shirt versus the first AEW unrivaled CM Punk figure in the Unmatched Series 4 CM Punk. And you guys can kind of see the similarities between the two. I like them, you know. I think that AEW probably has a little bit more details and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, these look really cool next to each other, man. It's kind of cool to see the dawning of two eras right there. And I feel like I need to put this shirt over here just to see what it looks like so we can do that really quick. So that's pretty cool right there. I think that fits pretty good. I think it fits the Mattel Elite better, but it's just because the arms are bigger. But which of these head sculpts do you like better? I think the AEW is a slight bit better, but I like the texture and the height of this. You see this hair? I think this is the way this should look right there. I think, you know, I think that could you know, be working with something right there. And then for another CM Punk figure comparison, here's the last Elite CM Punk or action figure that has this sort of articulation and mass-produced retail look. CM Punk and Elite Series 29 up next to the most recent in line, which would be the AEW Unmatched Series 4, so that's kind of cool to see these two up next to each other as well. And then for some more CM Punk Elite figure comparisons, here is the ringside exclusive ECW Punk. You have the best of pay-per-view build-a-figure CM Punk with a head swap. You have the other best of pay-per-view build-a-figure CM Punk in the gray and purple, and then you have the All-Stars Elite CM Punk with a head swap, which I think looks a hell of a lot better. So we got a CM Punk party going on. And then before I forget, here's the AEW Unrivaled AEW Championship on the new CM Punk. I think it looks really, really good, especially Especially with this shirt. I think it's a nice little fix up right there. I imagine if I see this at retail, it's going to be a grab them all. You know, it may be a Brody Lee situation, an unmatched Series 1 Kenny Omega situation where it's just, you know, it's bag them all. You know, you're trying to bag them all, make these fix ups, get these creative looks going, do some head swaps, play around with it. Maybe make some Mattel Elite ones into Unrivaled, depending on the parts choices. Maybe you can make a throwback CM Punk and acetone some of the tattoos, switch a torso, switch an upper torso with the lower torso. You get a blank chest CM Punk with the straight edge tattoo. To. I don't know. Just getting crazy, but this looks pretty damn good, Brad. That's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. Which one do you like best? What's the best CM Punk of all time? A lot would say the Elite 16 Punk. I'd probably agree with you, but you know, we're the ringside exclusive straight edge society, but I don't know. This one's a damn good one so far. But I think that pretty much wraps up our AEW Unmatched Series 4 CM Punk figure review, man. Really impressed with it. You know, I, I thought by the first images that we saw of the figure, I feel like the more you see it in person, the more the legs don't bother you. I think they are definitely skinny, but I think if you put some knee pads on that guy, it would go a long way. Like, even just a small pair that are open, I think that would do a great job for it. I think the articulation's great. While the arms are kind of stiff like Unmatched Series 3 was, I felt like Unrivaled Series 9 was really good compared to Unrivaled Series 9, it's not nearly as uh, smooth with the articulation. As I said, you know, those ratchet joints are really loud. They're not soft and buttery smooth and tight. They're kind of stiff, and if you loosen them up too much, I think it may get, you know, loose on you completely. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be every single CM Punk or if they're going to vary in articulation and tightness and ratchet joint loudness and things of that nature. I'm, un I, you know, I don't know about that just yet, but I'm really impressed with this Punk. I love the tattoo work. I love the hoodie. I think the head sculpt is you know, it's not my favorite head sculpt. I think we'll get better ones in the future. A bit flat. It doesn't give you a lot of texture there. And I felt like maybe I should probably dry brush some black in there or maybe add some in there and, and then, you know, touch it up with some gray or just add a little bit of black just to have it have that depth of gray on top of black, the salt and pepper look. But overall, I really enjoy the figure. I think that it articulates really, really well. I think you'll have no problems getting him in any poses. I think, you know, getting into that clobbering time pose with a Mattel Elite CM Punk is really, really difficult. And this one is 
is a double jointed nice looking CM Punk man I think you're gonna have a wonder with it I think if you wanted to put an Elite 16 head sculpt on there maybe you could swing that I don't know there's even some other I think the Elite 20 is a really good head sculpt too the smiling one is good I don't know man I think you're gonna have a, a whale of a time with this and I cannot wait but I also do not like the lower legs they went with with the Sammy Guevara or the Ray Phoenix style where it's like the kick pads cut in half would have really liked to see Kenny Omega style where you know the kick pad is its own entity rotating on a leg instead of that straight forward down look because the kick pads are hidden and just kind of painted on there which I don't like but at the end of the day it is a CM Punk it's a great iteration for our first one I cannot wait until we actually get the Walmart exclusive CM Punk in the trunks I plan on tracking down the chase as well but this is a really fun figure I think you guys are going to enjoy it let me know your thoughts down below do you guys already have this figure or not I would love to know leave me your thoughts on the CM Punk do you think the Elite Mattels are better than this one or vice versa but if you'd like this figure guys go over to ringside collectibles use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10 percent and let's get into our random shout out and today's shout out is going to go to toy pikachu the octoling if there was any woman on the roster today that deserved it more than anyone it was Liv. congratulations Liv morgan and i agree with that you know i agreed with it in the review if you guys missed my money in the bank review which i believe you probably have go check that out i agree with Liv morgan winning and i thought it was uh, a pretty big deal right there that was kind of crazy she became champion and won mr mrs money in the bank but anyways man i'm getting out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time stay tuned for more unmatched series 4 reviews and have a blessed one you cross the line i've been